Let's review the steps here for creating GH pages. And I'm doing this in the terminal, so I have gone to SSH terminal. And this will work for you here, and it will also be useful to you when you move to your own local um, IDE in future courses to be able to do these commands from the command line. So first of all, if I do a get status, I can see that I'm on branch master. I've completed my work on master and I'm ready to move this out to GH Pages branch so that GitHub will host it for me. So I'm going to use this FAQ to help me remember what I need to do. And I've already, my, my status is clear so I, because I've already done the add, commit, and push. So now what I'm at is I need to create a, a GH Pages branch and I'm going to use the checkout dash B to create the branch. And I'm going to call it GH Pages. So git checkout dash b gh pages. And what this will do is it will create a local GH Pages branch. So if I say git branch, this is one way I can see this. I've actually still got my master branch, but now I've got a new GH Pages branch, and it has the asterisk to indicate it's there. And if I do a get status, it's there's nothing, no work to do on it, but I'm sitting here in this GH Pages local branch. Okay, the next thing I need to do is I want to push this GH Pages out to the origin, which is the GitHub, because right now it's just a local branch. So I'm going to take that command and I'm going to push it out to GH Pages. And here you'll see some activity and as it copies that out there for you. All right, and then once it's out there, so I'm in this uh, Watts 1010 basic markup. Let's take a look at what I can do with that. So if I go to, yeah, here I am, basic markup. And you can see I have this GH Pages branch and it's got code in it. And the next thing I want to look at is, let's see, oh, I'm actually looking at somebody else's, I'm sorry. Let me take a look at my own. I've been doing grading, so let's take a look at my branch basic markup. And I go to my settings, and I scroll down to the GH Pages section, and I can see that it's been published, and when I go there, it is being hosted. Okay, so those are the steps, and I recommend using, using this FAQ is to help prompt you or create your own cheat sheet to help you remember these steps. Now here's something else that you can do. Let's say uh, I walk away, I'm, I'm leaving this, it's in the GH Pages branch, but for some reason I destroy it, or I lose it, or I just, it's gone. Okay, I'll probably fast forward through this uh, destroyed. You want to get rid of it. Well, it's destroyed. Um, but I come back and um, I want to reactivate it. So let's say I go to connections, do a connection in GitHub. And basic. So now I'm trying to pull it back. I've, I've walked away from it or somehow it's no longer available and so I come back to it. Now this will take a couple uh, seconds so I may fast forward through this. But what I want to show you is that you can, you when you bring back these this con connection you'll be in the master branch and if you wanted to continue working on that GH Pages branch you could check out the GH Pages. So let's wait a minute. Okay, we're back. It started. I open the SSH terminal. Let's see. And I type get status. And yes, I'm back on master. But I'd really like to just add some more code to my GH Pages. I don't want to add it to master and then have to merge it to GH Pages. So I'm going to just get check out GH pages. And you can see that it has 
brought up this branch which has remote tracking at origin which means it's connected to GitHub and now when I make my changes and push them out they will go into GH pages so this is how you can walk away or lose your work on code anywhere but still come back and get it have it be available to you because of GitHub all right that's all